before we get started, just a heads up. I don't have too many nice things to say about the Detroit Lions. Did you realize that you were a to the members of ISN. What's going on, guys? My name is Derek, and this is the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure to subscribe for more football content because here we talk all things football and we put out content every day. We do live streams as well, so make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can get reminders of those things. It's been a long off season for the Detroit Lions, and the season looks like the actual season looks like it's going to be long as well. If you are a Detroit Lions fan, you are used to things like this. You are used to a lot of hype building up to the season and then a massive letdown immediately when the season begins. And that is what we have faced again as Detroit Lions fans. Matt Patricia's third year as coach and he is no better than he was when he took the position two years ago. In my opinion, before I even get started with the video, Matt Patricia has until game four to show me that he belongs to be the Detroit Lions head coach. Or in my humble opinion, the Detroit Lions should start a new coaching search for a not only a coach, but a general manager as well. That's my two cents on that. Maybe you'll get a video later or a different time. I don't know. Right now, I'm still recovering off that Lions hangover and the agony of a second year in a row when we've lost a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter and was unable to close out the game. Just, just one side note before I continue with the rest of this video. The announcer said, Dick Stockton said yesterday, that the Detroit Lions blew seven fourth quarter leads in the 2019 season. That is a big deal. And they had blown, I believe it was 11 or somewhere in the double digits since Matt Patricia has taken over at head coach. And yesterday was another one added to his resume. Now we can have the discussion of Jim Caldwell versus Matt Patricia, but at this point, or in general, Jim Caldwell being a good coach, one of the things that I like when people say about Jim Caldwell is that he wasn't a good coach, but neither is Matt Patricia. At the same time, Jim Caldwell couldn't beat the good teams, but neither can Matt Patricia. At the end of the day, it comes down to numbers. It comes down to numbers, and the numbers show that Jim Caldwell was a good coach. That's point blank, period. We can debate it in the comments. You can say whatever you want to. You can start your own YouTube channel and make it all about Jim Caldwell and how he wasn't a good coach. But what you cannot say is that he wasn't a winning coach because at the end of the day, it that's what matters is wins and losses. Jim Caldwell went to the playoffs twice and couldn't beat the good teams. Matt Patricia looks like he'll never get there. But with all that being said, let's start the video. All right, so I like to go to ESPN for their matchup. And what they do is they break down everything and they tell you first downs, efficiency, things like that. The game was actually, <laughs> for the most part, very evenly matched throughout the game. The Detroit Lions had 14 passing first downs and the Chicago Bears had 15. Rushing first downs, they both had seven. First downs from penalties, they both had four. They wind up being almost the same. The Chicago Bears were a mere 2 of 11 on third down efficiency, and the Detroit Lions were 6 of 16. That's less than 50%. Still, we can't seem to get a first down when it matters. So that means we were faced with 16 third downs, and we only converted six of them. Fourth downs, the Chicago Bears went for two, and they only got one of those first downs. Again, a lot of times the Detroit Lions lead in plays. They had seven more plays than the Chicago Bears, totaling 72 to the Chicago Bears 65. The Detroit Lions had 75 or so more yards, total yards, than the Chicago Bears at 426 
to their 363. Both the Detroit Lions and the Chicago Bears had exactly 12 drives apiece. Yards per play, the Detroit Lions averaged 5.9 to the Chicago Bears 5.6. And even in passing, the Detroit Lions had 288 yards to the Chicago Bears 214. Here is, in my opinion, where it all goes downhill. In a game where Adrian Peterson still showed that he had what it took to maybe even be a featured back, the Detroit Lions still managed to throw the ball with the lead, mind you, 42 times. They led the majority of the game, but yet they still threw the ball 42 times and averaged 6.7 yards per play to the Chicago Bears 5.8. Matthew Stafford was sacked one time for a loss of nine. Trey Flowers got to Mitchell Trubinsky for one sack for a loss of 28 yards. This is where the Detroit Lions do what we know they do. They had 138 yards, and I believe 93 of those belonged to Adrian Peterson. But my question was, where exactly was Kerryon Johnson? We did see him on occasion, but where was he at? You're 23 years old. You are the featured back, number one on the depth chart, but yet you're barely featured in the first game of the 2020 season. You are outshined by a 35-year-old man, a guy that you look up to. We all see why. Where were you, Mr. Carrion Johnson? And as a fan to another fan, where was Carrion Johnson? What's going on with this team? I think we all know. Matthew Stafford threw an interception that was deflected in the air and caught by Kyle Fuller for the only turnover of the game. Time of possession, 29 minutes and 5 seconds for the Chicago Bears, 30 minutes and 55 seconds for the Detroit Lions. So it was literally a minute and 50 second swing in our favor, and we still managed to lose the game. Now, if I have to be clear and frank for a moment teams that dominate other teams they're not they don't have even time of possession typically you would see 18 minutes to 42 20 to 40 even 35 to 25 it's obvious that the Detroit Lions don't know how to close out games in a game where Adrian Peterson is going off and nearing 100 yards you stop running the football why is that why is that Matt Patricia on the podium after the game said said yesterday that his coaching was not the reason that they lost the game. His fourth quarter coaching had no impact on the loss of the game. That's what this man said. This is the leader of our team. This is another Jim Caldwell comparison that you can never make. Matt Patricia yesterday, in essence, said, I'm not the reason we lost. They're the reason. The players didn't execute the game. These are your guys. You got them. Okay? Do you think that Coach Caldwell would have ever thrown his players under the bus? Or do you think he would have taken full responsibility whether it was his fault or not? That's the difference between a leader of men. Matt Patricia is not that guy. So with that being said, I don't have much too much more to say on the video. As you can see, I'm all irritated. 110%. I'm tired of losing. I'm tired of talking about this team over and over. I'm tired of raising my expectations. This was our year. Why do I have to pick another team when I am a fan of the Detroit Lions? They have to reach my standards. I don't have to come down to theirs. Why should I be told to find another team? Why should you be told to find another team? It shouldn't happen. So I'm not really in the mood today to make a video, but I have to get one out. We could possibly go 0-4 in our first four games. Matt Patricia, Bob Quinn could both be out the door. Daryl Bevel is the interim coach. And here we go again, starting the search. My name is Derek, and this is the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more football content, more live streams. I am not going to cater to this team or this fan base anymore. If any of you want to get on YouTube, 
and start talking to the Detroit Lions, you can contact me and I will help you do that. Okay? But one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to cater to this fan base anymore. The reason I got on YouTube was to start talking about my team the way I want to talk about my team. And I shall do just that. One thing I will not do anymore is sugarcoat my feelings for the Detroit Lions and what I feel they should do. You already know who I am. I'll see you in the next video.